Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today we'll teach you something that I think will be really helpful and that is how to create digital stickers using the free app Keynote on iPad. I will show you how you can very easily import them into Stixer and how you can add them to your planner. Ready? Let's go! So I'm going to open the app Keynote. If you don't have it, you can download it for free. Just go to the App Store and type in Keynote and you will be able to download it from there. Once you see this window, you just create a presentation by tapping on this plus sign on the top left and then just tap on where it says choose a theme. And from here, we just want the simplest option available, which is any of these whites. So I'm just gonna tap on one of them to open it. And once I'm here, I want to get rid of all of the elements because what I want is a white page. So I will just tap on an element or text box and then this menu will pop and then you click on where it says delete and you repeat for the following elements because what we want is this white canvas. This app, Keynote, which is the app that we use to create digital planners and if you're interested in that, I have a whole tutorial teaching you how to start one from scratch in this same app. But in case you didn't know, you have all these shapes available that you can use as stickers. And to see them all, you would go to this plus sign at the top bar here and then in this menu, if you go to the third icon, that's your shapes icon or menu. And as you can see, you have a ton of different elements that you can use as they are and turn them into digital stickers. So for example, if I want to use this gas icon here, all I do is select it to bring it onto my screen. From here, I can tap on it, go to my brush or formatting icon up here. You go to where it says style. And then from here, you can click on where it says fill choose color and then pick any other color that you want for your icon. And as simple as that, you have created a little sticker. Now from here, you can tap on this icon, copy it, then open your planner, tap and hold on the screen and paste it. This is the dated landscape planner available at the Princeton library. And this is good notes that I'm using, but this will also work in Notability, Note Shelf, or pretty much any other note taking app that you are using for your planner, journal, notebook, etc. However, another cool thing I want to show you is that once you have your sticker here, you can very well just bring it onto Stixer. So I just tapped and dragged Stixer to open it in split screen view. I have Keynote and Stixer on the same screen. From here, I want to create a new folder that will be labeled my own stickers so that I can start adding the stickers that I create myself just now. I'm gonna look for that folder, which is here at the end. I tap on it. You can just tap and drag on the sticker that you created in Keynote and then add it to Stixer. Now, once I did that once, if you want, I personally like having these stickers in multiple colors. So I can just go back to my formatting menu, select a different color, and then bring on a different color of that same sticker. And I can do that for as many colors as I want. And I start creating my sticker collection. So that's a very simple way to take advantage of the shapes already included in Keynote. As I mentioned, you will find that in the plus sign. You have different categories. You have food, nature, animals, etc. So you can just look around and find the ones that would work for you and use as many as you want. Another thing I want to show you today is how you can create custom stickers. And there's a few things you can do with, for example, the basic shapes. I'm going to show you with the star. This is just a star shape, but as you can see, I have some green dots here. So the blue dots that you probably already know that are surrounding the shape allow me to resize the shape, right? Make it bigger, smaller, make it wider, taller, and so on. And those green dots, what they do is they change the shape itself. So if I pull this, I'll make the star thinner or thicker. And the second green dot, I'm not sure you can see very well on the screen, but this is the first one I was using. Let me see if I can just use my pencil instead. So you can pull it in and out to make it um, thinner or thicker. But the second dot up here, what it does is it'll change the number of points that you have. So it says point 0.5, which is the regular star. You can add more points. It says point 0.6, 7, and then change the shape completely. You can also have less points until you find a triangle or this like other shape that you can also create. Or for example, I can do something like this. I will just change the color to a blue, tap on my shape, copy, tap again, paste. 
okay so i'm just gonna paste it on top and what i'll do now is just rotate the shape using both my fingers at the same time as you can see keynote allows me to snap the shape to where is the middle so that's very helpful i tap on my brush again so i can change the color to anything else i want and then you know just like this i am creating kind of like a flower shape I will also add like a center so I go back to my basic shapes and then I choose a circle I can center this right in the middle and then turn it into like a yellow maybe and this could potentially look like a flower or a sun if you change the colors here to something like orange or red as you can see you have so many options and tools that you can play around with and by using several shapes together you can create a completely new shape of your own once you've done this what you can do is select all three shapes and to do that you would tap on the first shape and then use your finger to tap on the following shapes as you can see they're all selected and then i can just tap and drag this whole shape onto my stixer app one more style of sticker that you can try is create your own text boxes so i'm going back to my basic menu here under my plus sign I tap on this round corner square so I can create kind of a label shape. Again, using this green dot, you will be able to modify how round or square you want this shape to be. And then I will go back to my plus sign, but this time I'm gonna click on where it says text and this will create a text box that I can just double tap to write something like meeting. Then I will double tap on that text, go back to my brush, go to text and then from here I can tap on my fonts and I can choose any other font I want I'll choose the font Cuevas I'm gonna link it below in case you want to download it and then you can in the same menu change the color I'm gonna make it white and I need it to be bigger even though I can't really see what I'm doing right now because it's white just like the background so I'm going to bring this on top whoops of my sticker right here of my box it's not quite a sticker yet okay and it could stay like this because black is a good color why not but you can also let me just adjust this okay you can also tap on the background part and then change the color going to style again and then pick a different color or something else i want to show you today is you can pick a gradient so if you tap on that option at the top here you have the option to select two colors it says start color and end color so it can be something very subtle like it is right now with these two different types of blue but you can also go from like an orange and then the second color could be black you know if you wanted to do something like halloween themed or something you can really play around with the color selection or you can just use a solid color if you drag these colors to the left you will get this wheel where you can literally choose any color that you want so i like using this wheel a lot Again, when you're ready, we will just select both shapes and tap and drag onto Stixer. And now, if you don't know, one of the most awesome features of Stixer is that you can choose one of these stickers that you just created to have as a cover for the folder that you have just created, which should be here. So now, every time I see this icon or sticker, I'll remember that this is the album or folder where I'm keeping all of the stickers that I created in Keynote. Now, from here, of course, when you want to go to your note-taking app, again, you enter split screen view and you can just open your folder and start dragging whichever sticker you need onto your planner. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful and gave you some ideas on things that you can start creating right now. If you did like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up to let me know so I can continue to make videos like this. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and click on the bell so you're notified whenever there's a new video. I do have several videos teaching how to use this app Stixer to keep and organize all of your digital planner stickers. So I'm gonna link a playlist below in case you want to check it out. And if you have any questions at all or something was not clear, please drop me a comment. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.